Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a hair tutorial. Yes, a hair tutorial. When have I, I think it's been like several years since I've done a hair tutorial, because if you know anything about me, then you know full well, I am not someone who styles their hair, okay? What you are seeing right now is typically what my hair does. It either looks like this or it's up in a bun. However, recently I did a video in April talking all about the Beauty Killer 2 palette, doing a makeup look with that palette. And in that video, at the end of it, I had two very messy, kind of fun, cute space buns. I kind of looked like Minnie Mouse. <laughs> And ever since I did that video and uploaded Instagram pictures, a couple of you have asked me for a tutorial on how I did my space buns. So in today's video, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you guys how I get my little space buns. So I know this is very weird for me. I feel very weird doing this video because like I said, I just don't do, I just don't do hair stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how I get my space buns. I have all my stuff up here. One of the things that I use are these little guys. So I got off Amazon for a couple bucks. It's just a four pack of small hair bun makers. Now I can do buns without these, but how I got my space buns is these guys. So they basically just look like this. They kind of look like little sponges um, textured. And obviously I got black because my hair is black. So it obviously make sure you get a color that matches your hair. So I use these to get it and I'll show you how I do that. So I use these. I also have a couple of hair ties, some bobby pins, lots of bobby pins, and then some hairspray. So that's really all that I use to create my space buns. And now I'm gonna show you guys how exactly I did it. Also, you're gonna need a comb and a brush as well. But before we do that, we do have a sponsor for today's video. So we are going to roll that sponsored footage right now and then we can go ahead and get started. So sponsored space bun brie, take it away. Guys, editing me here and I'm here to tell you all about today's video sponsor. And the sponsor of today's video is of course the lovely and amazing Dossier Perfumes. If you guys have never heard of Dossier, then let me go ahead and give you the quick little rundown because if you haven't heard of them, you need to hear about them because this right here is going to become your new secret weapon. So what Dossier is, is they are an online perfume company that specializes in making designer inspired fragrances at a more than fair price. You walk into a department store, you see a designer fragrance that you have always wanted to own, you see the price tag and it scares the crap out of you. That's where Dossier comes in. You go on their site, you find a scent that is inspired by the real designer scent and their prices range from $29 to $39. So the prices for these are absolutely amazing. And when I tell you they smell exactly like the real thing, they truly do smell exactly like the real scent. So when you go on their website, you make an order. This is what your box looks like when you get it in the mail. And when you open it up, you have all all of your goodies inside. You have Iconic Sense designer quality, no markups, and you also have your little card in here which basically tells you all about the scent that you chose, it tells you the notes, it tells you the scent that it was inspired by, the concentration, the mission statement, and how it works. So really good stuff, a lot of information on this card. The scent that I chose for this month, and this one I'm so excited for, this one is Garmin Patchouli, and this was inspired by the Theory Mute Mugler, I think that's how you say their name, perfume, which is Angel. If you guys have ever heard of the Mulgar Alien and Angel perfume, I do have the Alien inspired scent by Dossier. I have had this one for quite a while and as you can see it's almost gone. This is in their old packaging but I just wrote Alien on here because that's what this one's inspired by. And I have always loved the Alien perfume. And when she released the Angel perfume, Dossier came up with their own inspired fragrance of it. And it smells so good. It smells just like the real Angel. Some of the notes in this one are mandarin, berries, passion fruit, patchouli, honey, plum, caramel, vanilla, and cocoa. So just reading that right there, that sounds like angels to me, honey. So good. This is, I have a feeling this is going to become my new like summer fragrance. 
You do get a full 50 milliliter bottle when you make an order on Dossier. Here's an up close view of what their packaging looks like. So very minimalist, very cute. So basically how Dossier works is once you get your package, you try out the full 50 milliliter bottle. If you get it and you try it and you end up loving it, that's awesome. You can use it all up, go on and pick out another scent. But if you do try it and you're like, eh, I'm not really feeling it today, not really liking this scent, all you gotta do is package everything back up in this little box, head on over to their website to the returns page, print out a shipping label, return the whole entire box, get a full refund, no questions asked, and you can go on and you can find your new favorite scent. It's also really cool because Dossier actually has a new payment method. At the very last step of checkout, all you have to do is hit the catch at the end of checkout and you will receive a $10 sign on bonus. And you will also get 10% store credit for all future orders. Orders. You can also use the code BREE10 for 10% off of your order. So really cool new stuff happening all the time. They have a variety of different scents inspired by Chanel, Tom Ford, Gucci, Versace, Victor and Rolf. They have perfumes for women, men, unisex, everything in between. Anything you can think of, Dossier has an inspired scent on their website and they are absolutely amazing. The shipping is really fast. The customer service is great. The variety of scents on their website is even better. I Dossier is literally all I wear now. So if you guys are interested in finding your new designer inspired fragrance, head on over to Dossier. I will have a link right at the top of the description box so you guys can click go and check them out and find your new favorite scent. And again, thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video and continuing to work with me. Thank you for making me smell good literally all the time. I have found my new spring and summer fragrance right here, Garmin Patchouli, Mugler's Angel. Yes, bring it, I love it. Thank you guys, and now let's get into this hair tutorial. First things first, I have a mirror here, so if you can see that in the frame, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna set that right there so I can see. And the first thing we're gonna do is part our hair down the middle. Now, you don't necessarily have to part it down the middle, but I'm going to part it down the middle. So I'm just gonna, just to make sure we have enough hair even on both sides. Now, on this side of my head, I am currently growing out my side cut. So you can see the hair is like significantly shorter on this side of my head. So this space bun always ends up being a little less full than this one because I, I am waiting for hair to grow back on this side. But regardless, I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle. Now I can't really see the back all that well, so I'm not too worried about the back of my head just do the best that you can. If, okay, and then once you think you got it down the middle, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put these two sections of hair that we have parted, and we're going to put them up in pigtails on top of our head, all right? And I think this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to take some hair, and I'm gonna leave it hanging just for like a little, a little moment. And I know this is probably kind of hard to see because my hair is very black. So it may be kind of hard to see what I'm doing. But I'm just going to leave some little money pieces in the front. And I'm just going to do one side at a time. So I'm going to start with this side. And you want to try to get them kind of high up on your head. But basically just going to take all this hair and don't worry about the little baby hairs. We will take care of that in a little bit. Okay, so just try to smooth it out the best you can. And then once you have it kind of up and in the middle of your head where you want it, and this is a little bit hard because my hair is so long. I don't have extensions in or anything. So it's a lot harder to do with longer hair. And then you're just gonna put it in ponytail. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now this side is a little bit more difficult because like I said, I have a bunch of short hair because my side cut is growing out. And just kind of match it up with the other side best you can. It's probably not going to be perfect, but there. 
Okay, so now that we have our little pigtails and our little money pieces in the front, now we can start creating the buns. Now, like I said, don't worry too much about all these little baby hairs. I have all, ever since I was like young, young, I have always had these little annoying ass baby hairs that just hang out the back. And now that we have our little pigtails like this, now we can take our little bun makers. And basically what I do is I just take it and I put the ponytail in it. Okay, just like this. And then I just tighten it around it like that. And then, so my space buns are never really neat. I don't really like them to look neat. I like them to look a little bit disheveled and a little bit messy. So once I have the little bun maker in, all right, this is really hard to see with black hair, but I'll basically take it and I'll fold the ponytail over it like this. And then that's when I will start moving the hair around it in a circle. Oh, my hair's too long. There we go. And I'll basically just start to like move the hair around the little bun maker. Again, not perfectly, but okay. And then just kind of move the hair around and make sure the bun maker is totally covered. And then that's when your bobby pins come into play. You're gonna need quite a few of these. I probably should have gotten these out before. Once I have it kind of like up and messy where I want it, I will just start bobby pinning the crap out of this. And I always try to keep, like remember and keep count of how many bobby pins I use so at the end of the day, I'm not leaving any of my hair, you know what I mean? And I'll just start bobby pinning the hair to the bun maker. The bobby pins go in the bun maker really, really easy. Okay, just kind of like that. And then I'm going to move over to this side and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I take the bun maker, put it through like this, and I'm just gonna tighten. And then I'm gonna fold the ponytail over the bun maker like this, and then just start twisting. Just start twisting around, making it a little bit more on the messy side. And then I just start And sometimes it doesn't always work the first time, so I'll basically just take it out and try again. But I always have a much harder time with this side than I do the other side. So this side always takes me a little bit longer. So just fold over and start twisting. Okay, so something like that. And then what I'll also do just to kind of keep my little money pieces here out of the way is I'll take a headband and I'll just kind of set it. Okay, and then there we go. We have some space buns. Now, are they perfect? Are they perfectly even on both sides? Do they look like I just got back from the hair salon? Absolutely not, but this like I just I don't do my hair and when I do do my hair and I try something like this This is how it turns out. Uh, this is pretty much similar to how it turned out the last time as well So there you guys go. That is my little uh, space bun hair tutorial thing uh, Hopefully this was easy to follow. Hopefully I explained everything good enough It really doesn't take a whole lot to accomplish this just some hair ties, bun makers, bobby pins, hairspray, and a headband if you want to. I'm just feeling the headband today because it matches my shirt that I'm wearing today, so I just thought I could have like a little moment. If you guys did enjoy this little hair tutorial and you found it helpful and you personally like this style on me, make sure you go down and give me a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days here, but as the rest of you, I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! <laughs>